The development of any country will be affected by a number of different factors, and three of these factors are physical, economic and historical. Physical geography of an area can make development difficult. Extreme weather conditions like tropical storms, floods or even droughts can cause tremendous damage to infrastructure and will slow development. Being landlocked as a country means that there's no access to trade from the sea. This can be a very limiting factor. And climate related diseases and pests, such as mosquitoes, along with inadequate safe water supplies are all barriers to good economic development. Economic factors are also a hindrance, for example unequal trade. World trade is dominated by HICs as well as NEEs such as China and India. Large companies have tremendous power in world trade and they try to pay as little as possible for their raw materials, many of which will come from LICs. The processing of these raw materials often takes place in HICs, so the extra value is added in the HICs rather than the LICs. This means that LICs find it hard to develop whilst HICs become richer. Although LICs and NEEs have mainly exported raw materials in the past, many have started to develop manufacturing industries as well, with large percentages of exports from NEEs now being manufactured goods. Relying on one main product for your income is not an ideal situation for a country. For example in Zambia, there's been a reliance on copper mining and export for many years. Fluctuations in the price of the main commodity can have significant effect on an economy. Many HICs, particularly in Europe, have a long history of economic development. This can be linked in some cases to colonialism, with explorers seeking out mineral wealth from new overseas territories. From the mid-1600s, African slaves were transported to North America in huge numbers to work on plantations, with the wealth making its way back to the European colonial masters. By the beginning of the 20th century, many parts of Africa, Asia and South America were divided up amongst a few European countries, creating vast empires. Since the 1950s, the former colonies went through a process of gaining independence, but this has been a hard road, with many countries experiencing internal civil conflicts, leading to government corruption and political instability, which in turn makes development very difficult. Looking at uneven development, we can clearly see that there are a number of difficult obstacles in the way of LICs who want to develop their countries in the future.